Hi, and thanks for coming to see my video today. My name is Valerie from MyRainbowCoalition.blogspot.com. I'm coming to you today with the second video in my series using my July counterfeit kit called Friday I'm in Love. I'm going to be scrapping this picture of my friend Maggie and I. I'll be using an American Crafts crepe paper as the background from the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan line. I'll also be using this red cardstock because it's the same red as in the labels of the Mercier bottles. So I'm going to start with the crepe paper and I saw a technique from Vilna Furstenberg using acrylic paint on a crepe paper background like this and she just sort of spread it around to make a solid background in the middle and I really liked the idea of it and I thought I would try it she did it with white paint on a white crepe paper background and I really liked the idea when she did it but I didn't so much love it I turned when off the I camera did. so that I could go dry that background and when I did the heat tool broke and so I was starting to have to rethink a lot of my decisions on the layout because I had intended to use a gold embossing powder and some other things. So here I'm just sort of winging it a little bit. I thought that I would use this chevron to create a stripe of arrows that I would use to point to the, my picture. Um, but you'll see later that I didn't actually end up using that strip of arrows. Now I'm just going to mat out that picture of my friend and I in the red. You'll see a lot has changed in my plan since the last time you saw the layout. Uh, the camera battery died and I got very frustrated so I went ahead and tried to regroup and figure things out from where I was. So I decided to scrap the idea of the paint and use that chevron in the middle uh, as a background. And then I added that di diagonal stripe that was on the back of the red paper that I used to mat the picture and put in my title. Um, from this point, I'm going to do quite a bit of journaling. So I think there are several different parts of the story that I want to tell. So I'll add journaling in a few different places. But before I did that, I went ahead and stamped with the bracket stamps in white ink. And I didn't love how it showed up. So I just used my finger and some gold gelatos to um, go over that bracket stamp and make it stand out just a little bit more. So now I'm looking for some spots to put some enamel dots. So I was looking for some places to put these enamel dots and I tend to put my embellishments in sets of three. So I was trying to treat that flare badge as a cir circular embellishment, just like the enamel dots. So I was making a grouping of three there with a red enamel dot, a pink enamel dot, and that yellow flare badge. And then I added another grouping of three to the top left, or excuse me, to the top right of my picture.
Now I'm just going to take that basic gray chevron stamp and use it as an accent to point out some of my embellishment clusters. And also it'll indicate where different areas of my journaling will start. So when I start writing, I think that there are gonna be two major areas where I do my journaling. One is gonna be that real obvious place underneath the title in that, on that yellow piece of cardstock. And the other place is perhaps a little less obvious, but I think it's a real fun place to put some journaling and that's on those diagonal stripes. So here you see that the journaling is done and I have some journaling on the diagonal stripes in black pen on the white stripes and white pen on the black stripes. And then I've also added a third area for journaling in the bottom right on that chevron paper. I've actually just scribbled in some journaling lines and started journaling right down there in the corner as well because I felt like there were three really separate and distinct elements of this story that I wanted to tell. So now I'm just looking for some more areas to embellish. I tried out another wood veneer shape and didn't really like how that worked out on the page. Then I decided to go back to that chevron stamp and try again. Again, as I said before, just trying to set off the areas of journaling and show where they start.
It often happens that when I do this kind of stamping where I'm going to put the image in a few different places on my page that the stamp is in a place on the block where um, it's just not going to work to stamp and I end up having to move it around. So don't be afraid to do that. That's why there's a clear block and a clear stamp so that you can pick it up and move it if there's something that's in your way. So this is where I'm going to call my layout finished. I really like that there are all sorts of different lines going every which way and direction. I had a really great time on this trip and so I love that this page is fun and a little whimsical and reminds me of that time. I know lots of people would probably add many more embellishments, probably somewhere down there to the bottom right of that yellow block uh, between the, the third journaling block and the second one, or maybe up in the top left of the page. But with all of the pattern, I feel like it's better to keep the embellishment a little bit more simple on this page. Thanks for coming to see my video today. If you've enjoyed this video or have any interest in digital templates or other digital scrapbooking tutorials, come visit me at my blog at myrainbowcoalition.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.